Okay guys, I'm making a video here about how to use the Scantron with the new item analysis stuff. If you hear any weird comments, it's Bill Driscoll in the background. Alright, so, just run the uh, Scantron as you normally would. Okay, I'm just going to run five because that'll be good. Okay, once you're done with your Scantron, then you hit, actually no, then you plug in a thumb drive here. If you don't have them, the wonderful librarians have some to share. Hit transfer data. Which it does. Now you can pull this guy out, come over to the computer that you're already logged into. And there's this little icon here, right there. Scantron score it. Click on that thing. Insert your USB. And it detects it. <clears throat> Just get rid of this autoplay box. Show me my results is what you want, the big button. And then usually takes a few minutes here to pop up. So if it takes like two minutes, don't worry. If it's a bunch of tests, it, it'll still work. Okay, so you can see here this Excel spreadsheet pulled up, which on this first screen it shows, I only did five students, but um, for each question what they answered and the yellow are incorrect. And the cool thing is I can go to item analysis tab here at the bottom and it shows me what percentage of kids got each problem right and then how many kids are picking the wrong answers so that I know what they are picking. So that's pretty handy. It gives you student results individually. That's not super useful. Uh, score distribution gives you a breakdown of what scores they did get and even mark quality if you want. So you can then save this Excel uh, file and you've got it uh, forever. So there you go, a little tutorial on how to use the item analysis stuff with our Scantron.